What's poppin' Funko fans? Robbie Dilts here, and today I'm going to be showing you a Funko Pop Chase that I bought today. So, let's get poppin'. Okay, now before I show you the pop that I got, I just want to say, of course, I instantly had to go to EB Games to get a $2 protector case for the pop that I got. Not only because it's a chase, but I mean, I like to start putting my pops in protector cases. I still have some pops behind me. This isn't all of them. There is some behind, like on the ground. I am sitting actually on the ground right now while filming this. Uh, I don't have a tripod. I'm using my phone as a camera, so it's a little bit tricky, but anyways... The pop that I got today, and reasonably priced too, I talked the guy down from what he originally was selling for $35. I talked him down to $30 because it was listed as pop price guide price of $26. I wasn't going to go and say, oh, I'll buy it off you for $25. No, I was okay with paying $30 for it. $30 is a good price for a chase pop, I would imagine anyways. But, not only is it just any chase pop for those of you that know me I am a wrestling fan so this is from the pop WWE line and it is number 51 and it is the chase variant of Jake the Snake Roberts I am very pumped about this obviously this looks so cool with his blue tights on he's got the snake around him that's Damien got the chase sticker the WWE sticker Number 51, Pop WWE. On the back, there is, it looks like, Bailey, Chris Jericho, Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, Sasha Banks, and The Iron Sheik. And so, uh, in this collection, uh, I used to actually have Million Dollar Man, I'm pretty sure, but then I traded him to my cousin for Xavier Woods from The New Day. And then I also have the Toys R Us exclusive Bailey. And uh, there's the side of the box that has the art on it, which always looks cool. I mean, it is, you know, the generic WWE background with the red and everything. Um, and then there's obviously the other side with his head, 51, Jake the Snake Roberts along the side. I love that I finally now have a chase. Because it's hard to find a chase in the wild, so to speak. And the fact that someone was selling this Jake the Snake Roberts on a Funko Niagara buy, sell, and trade group on Facebook, um, I'm happy with it because also it is a guy that I've also done a trade with in the past as well. I traded my San Diego Comic-Con McCree pop that I won from a giveaway for the 20th anniversary Woody from Toy Story. So... It's a good thing that I already knew the guy and I was able to message him again saying, Hey, I'm interested in this Chase Pop, the Jake the Snake Roberts. And we talked. I went today. $30. That's not bad. That really isn't. I mean, $35 would have been okay as well, I guess. But I felt like, I don't know, I'm one of those people that look at the Pop Price Guide prices as well. And then... I kind of make a deal so 30 was a good in-between so in a way it's a win for me it's a win for him he got 30 bucks and I got a chase so win-win well that's all the time I have for this video I want to thank you guys for watching and I'm sorry it was a short video today but I just wanted to post an update for you guys letting you know I got my first ever Chase Pop in my collection now. So I'm excited. If you like this video make sure to smash the like button. Also leave a comment letting me know what your favorite Funko Pop is that you have in your collection that is a Chase. Also if you're new to the channel make sure to press the subscribe button and also the bell beside it to be notified of when I post my future content like my top 5 Funko Pops for the month of January which comes out at the end of the month. And also, wherever you are today, stay dry because here in Canada it is raining. Until next time, guys, keep on popping.